Moon in the 11th house. Let's discuss natal moon in the 11th house and how this placement tends to manifest for the native and affect the native's behavior, personality, and experiences. All right? So when you have moon in the 11th house, this is similar to having natal moon in Aquarius. Meaning if you were to read Aquarius moon descriptions, you will find that you can resonate with a lot of the descriptions and it sounds like you, okay? You get along well with other air moons, such as Libra moons and Gemini moons, okay? So even if you aren't an Aquarius moon yourself, you get along well with Aquarius moons. You can resonate with Aquarian moon, Aquarius moon qualities and you get along well with air moons in general, okay? You have an emotional need for friendship and to be a part of a group cause organization. A lot of these people with this placement, they're very emotionally drawn towards friendship and to be a part of a cause or an organization. When you have this placement, you may feel like a natural humanitarian that wants to be a part of social causes. Okay, So again, it relates back to being a, a part of a group cause or organization. There's an emotional need for friendship, okay? you. This is the type of person that has to have friends and really enjoys spending time with their friends. Your mother is seen as more of a friend than a parent, okay? And also, your mother is seen as Aquarian-like, okay? You feel emotionally connected to your friends. Again, moon is the emotions, friends, 11th house, all right? You feel emotionally connected to your long-term goals and legacy. So whatever long-term goals you have and whatever legacy you'd like to leave behind, it affects you strongly emotionally, okay? And that's what emotionally drives you, whatever long-term goals you have and whatever legacy you'd like to leave. You experience constant fluctuations as far as matters that involve your friends and the group organizations that you're a part of, okay? Okay. The fluctuations, wherever the moon is placed, whatever house it's placed in, tells you where you experience constant fluctuations and ups and downs, okay? So when you have this placement, you experience constant fluctuations as far as matters that involve your friends and the group organizations that you're a part of, okay? So this is the best way to describe moon in the 11th house people. They have very similar qualities to Aquarius moon people. They have an emotional need for friendship and to be a part of a group cause or organization. They're natural humanitarians that want to be a part of social causes. The mother is seen as Aquarian-like, and she's seen as more of a friend than a parent. You're emotionally connected to your friends. You're emotionally connected to your long-term goals and legacy. And you experience fluctuations as far as matters that involve your friends and the group organizations that you're a part of, all right? That's Moon and the 11th House people. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you have this placement. Let me know what you think. All right? Thank you for watching.